what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back and happy thursday to y'all even though i'm recording this on a saturday but anyways <laughs> thank you guys so much man last episode um we saw my opinion the best episode of season two so far very emotional episode of course um and i have to say man this show really gets you in your emotion it really hits you deep you know what i'm saying i don't think I don't think I shed any tears in, in like any episode early on for Vikings. I don't think I did. But this one really got to me. The way how they shot the scenes, the way how the the actors did, man. And to see Uhtred go through that slavery stuff, man, it's it, you know what I'm saying? That shit hit different, you know what I mean? So I really do appreciate them for highlighting certain things that used to happen back in the day. Some things, you know, like those, you know, it's a different form of it still happens today. But at the same time, you know, it's good to highlight that stuff and stay authentic to the times that you're trying to portray. Might not be 100% accurate, but at least you're doing something, you know what I'm saying, close to it. So... In my opinion, I don't know where Uhtred goes from here. To be honest, I can't tell you where this where this story is going or I can't guess where it's going because it's that good. Because when you're not, in my opinion, when you when when a show is pr predictable in in certain ways, it makes it not as enjoyable of as it, if it's unpredictable. I don't like to make, you know what I'm saying, assumptions about shows that I'm enjoying because so a lot of times it spoils my experience you know what I'm saying sometimes I'll make predictions yes um you know as to what I think is going to happen but I just don't want to do it with this show reason being is like whenever you think that this something is going to happen you know most of the time it just doesn't go that way you know what I'm saying and that's just a you know, a, a shout out to the writers of the show or to the books or whatever, the source material that they're following because they're doing an excellent job. I think if I probably would have ruined my experience if I read the books before I saw the show and they're probably following the books to a T to the source material. They might change little, little stuff here and there, but, you know, you guys have let me know that, you know, it's an accurate representation off the books and also, you know, um, uh, close to accurate of what actually happened in real life. Mind you, adding some uh, some characters here and there, right? So, um, when it comes on to this series, I'm very happy to watch it, man. And let's not waste any more time. Let's go watch episode four of season two. All right, so that was season two, episode four. We're halfway through the season now, and it's the end of the reactions for the week. So don't expect one to be out again at the end of the week. Like this week, I just had promised you guys that I would finish up the season, but I didn't get a chance to record the episode, so I did it um, this weekend. Okay, so instead of four episodes, I did, I did five this weekend, but... There's no worries. We start, you guys have seen. Um, so this episode, man, episode four, we're halfway through the season. And as I was saying there at the end of the video, um, was basically that, you know, it's a good thing for me not knowing where this story is going. Um, because I want to learn as I go along, as I follow the path of Udri Destiny is all, you know, it's just so refreshing to see a series so well written and you have your ups and downs the plan was well executed against Kjartan um of course um what's his name good Guthrid Guthrid is is a bitch I was always I will always call him a bitch I don't care a lot of people you know what I'm saying if Uhtred had died right and you really look even in my face talking about you still consider me a friend nigga no friend don't do no shit like that okay stop stop that bullshit and that's that's the kind of thing like i've had experiences not nobody's 
you know, putting me into slavery or anything, but I've had friends that has betrayed me. And then they realize that I've risen up out of that situ situation that they purposely put me in. You get what I'm saying? And arise from it and survived it. And then they look me in my face, man, I, man, I didn't have a choice at the time. I still consider you a friend, man, get the fuck out of my face. That's what I say to people like that. Like, man, listen, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to take up arms against you and try, try to kill you or anything like that. But we know just not going to be any company at, at all. You know what I'm saying? Because I would never do that to a friend. I would never put you in a situation that I know you can't, that I think you can't handle or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I would never do that. I would never sell out somebody um, like that. Like, I, it's just not in me to do that. Some people, they do that shit so easily and so readily to, and that's why I say, can sell out a friend for bigger picture shit. You get what I'm saying? Oh, it's bigger picture. It'll sell out a friend. No. You know what I'm saying? If anything, if I need to see the bigger picture, I'm going to tell you, I would have rather him send Uhtred away and be like, listen, bruh, this man wants you dead, but I need his help. I would have more respected that decision of him just sending Uhtred away to be on his way. I said, listen, I can't help you right now. You're going to have to figure it out some way. Even though that's still a bitch move, I would have still respected that more than him selling the dude into slavery. Like you get what I'm saying? But I would have never gone that way. I would have never done that. I would have been like, yo, okay, then fuck y'all. We coming to get, the, we coming whenever we get the, 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 um, to do this, go to Alfred, ask him for help, tell him to send some men or whatever. But he never thought of doing that. And it's another thing too, where I'm looking at it. And I'm like, he did so many things that was wrong. And you know, you know, betraying Uthred was just the icing on top, you know, and then when you see, oh, I still consider you my greatest friend. Dude, if this is how you treat your friends, dude, I don't want to be your enemy. I'm be, I'm, I'm be truthful about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, no matter how, that, it's just certain things that fly sometimes in TV show, you'll be like, nah, that shit would never work in real life. The niggas getting killed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just crazy. Um... You know, for him to 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 um to be to be that type of person, man, you gotta have so instinctively. You get what I'm saying? So instinctively to be like, not even a second thought, not even a second thought, not even to say, let me let me, let me. You know what I'm saying? But because of all the seeds that the um that the um the abbot was planting in his head and stuff like that that's why he made that decision so impulsive because i don't think he would have made that decision so impulsive before you know that meeting that he sat down with the abbot in 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 the chapel i don't think before that i don't think he would have made that that such an impulsive decision based on what the abbot you, you know what i'm saying based on what was going on at the time so I think because of that conversation, I think after that, kind of everything changed. He, he started to view Uhtred as a legitimate threat. Even before him and, him and Uhtred had the conversation and Uhtred was kind of joking around with him about his sister and stuff like that. Like, you know what I mean? So for me, it just goes to show you, man, like the betrayal, the betrayal, the betrayal. Um, I was kind of getting mad at Alfred, but I do understand where he's coming from as a king. Somebody needed to be punished for the, the, the death of the priest. But if he knew what that priest was about, I don't think he would have probably honored him as a priest because he really isn't in my eyes. And from what I saw him doing, he was making deals behind the, the king. You know what I'm saying? It's, make the deal. You know what I'm saying? Send, send the dude out and then you tell tell Guthrie about it. Come on, man. You're making decisions that you're not supposed to be making, you know? And first of all, I think the whole prophecy shit is bullshit. I think it's absolute bullshit. So, um, that's just me. That's just how I feel about it. But in any case, guys, um, I appreciate you guys for tuning in, man. This was episode four. It was really lit. They attacked, they killed Carton they, and Sven is dead. And uh, what did I say? I want to see. I told you guys, I hope Terra is the one that gets to kill Sven. I told you that. I don't remember what episode I said that on, but I was just hoping that she's the one that gets to kill him 
and it was so. She used the hounds, kind of remind me, she's a redhead, Sansa is a redhead, and she used the hounds to kill Rams Ramsay in, in Game of Thrones. Spoiler alert. Said it after the fact, I don't care. If you're watching this show and you have not seen Game of Thrones, whatever. <laughs> At this point, I don't, I don't even really care because I'm going to talk about shit um, that I've seen before. So, regardless, I'm pretty sure that everybody's watching my reactions have seen Game of Thrones. If you have not seen Game of Thrones, then something is probably wrong with you. <laughs> you know, but it's okay. Um, I appreciate y'all, man. I really do. You guys have been knocking out of the park. I, I tend to post while I'm watching on the weekends. I do post. So, you guys should look out for that. I'm not going to start doing it on Twitter because I was actually considering that, that maybe I should be tweeting tweeting out stuff while I'm while I'm recording and stuff on the weekends because I'm recording all the shows so um but that's the whole I don't want to do that I'd rather just post stuff on the community tab um about what I'm watching and stuff like that and you guys can see it if you're already on YouTube I don't want to have to go tweeting and stuff like that I know I need to build up a following on Twitter and stuff like that but I know a lot of the people on this channel also don't really mess with Twitter like that I don't really mess with Twitter like that. Like the only reason why I'll probably do Twitter or Instagram or one of those things. The only reason why I would do any of those is because I need to have a social media presence as somebody that's reacting to stuff or doing stuff or whenever, whenever that I need to have a presence on social media. So you guys, you know, so you guys can see my thoughts on certain things or whatever. But Twitter and Instagram is extremely toxic and that's why I don't mess around with them. Facebook I don't like Facebook, period. I just don't like the interface of Facebook. Like, I know they've improved a lot of things about it. I do have a profile on Facebook, you know, to stay in touch with friends and stuff like that from back in high school. But other than that, I don't really mess around with any of those three major um, social media um, platforms. I don't really mess around with them. So if needs be, I will use them. But right now, I don't see the need to do it. Um that much i do have a twitter it's in the description if you want to go join over there i don't really post anything but you know eventually you know if you guys have a twitter just follow it you know what i'm saying because eventually i'm going to start doing like tweet out stuff and stuff like that so i appreciate y'all so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you watch until the review let me know in the comment section i know it's only like a few of you guys that watch my reviews um but i do appreciate y'all thank you guys so much leave a like leave a comment and i will catch you guys later man see you guys next week peace